Good morning all. <clears throat> this is another video I'd like to make it on the Microsoft 365. Earlier it was called as like Office 365. Okay. And uh, now it has been made as like a Microsoft 365. What is the differences and uh, you know how to go about that? Which are all the services we will be getting it on Microsoft 365, whether it's still that uh, Office 365 is available or not, you know. And uh, it's according to the regions, we will be selecting the plans for our company. It's for like uh, basic home purpose also, we can use it. And for uh, like for business also, we can do that like that. So this link will take you to the, you know, the comparison chart. This is the uh, link which I would like to show you. So this link will take you to uh, the comparison chart. What do you need to do better? You can do one thing. Go to the Google. And if you are in your own countries, if you are in your country like in Australia or Singapore, or maybe in the US or somewhere, please try to search it in the Google that uh, what are the Microsoft 365, uh, you know, uh, the plans according to your own region, like a geographic locations, countries. Specifically, you need to go for that because this is I selected for the India. So India, it's been given in the rupees, Indian rupees, it has been given. You can see that all the plans, how it has been showing. If I click for home, then I'll be seeing some of the options on this. Let me see. How does it come? Apps to manage, paid yearly. Something is coming up. Let me go down. So Microsoft family, 365 family, 6,199 per year. Like One to six people can share. You see that? Six people can share this. Each person can use up to five devices simultaneously. That is also possible. Works on a PC, Mac, iPhone, iPad, and Android phones and tablets as well. Up to 6 TB of the cloud storage is available. 1 TB per person. Means like 6 people in the sense 6 TB. This. Additional features include the families like that. You know, like going for a safety mobile app and all. And this is for like uh, one person. Microsoft 365 personal. 4,899, that is nothing but 4,900 rupees per year like that, for only one person. And uh, he can use it for like five devices simultaneously. And it works on all the platform like a PC, Mac, iPhone, iPad, Android phones and tablets. One TB of the cloud storage it has been there. So uh, otherwise what you can do, if you do not want to pay it for like an yearly basis, you can pay it for a monthly basis. 489 per month it is coming. So 12 you can make it out. So it will be something exceeding if you are going for a per month if you are paying that. And the same case here also like a 619. So two months you must be saving really if you are paying it for like a year or something like that. So this is for uh, the um, home purpose. If you'd like to use it for your home purpose, you can means like uh, you have you are running a small startup and you would like to run it with your own people or something like that, you can go with this one, it's possible. And what are the benefits we are getting it from the Microsoft 365? Simplify your online security, make the most of your day, powerful productivity apps, all your ideas in one place, trusted storage, priceless memories, tell your story your way, something like that. So it goes on. So here it is comparing the 365 with, uh, you know, like office. Personal and office home and the student. For a student, it is a bit more, I don't know. Why it has been given like office home and a student. It's just both things are getting combined on that. Like, so this is 9,000 something has been coming up. And number of persons, which we can make it like it one to six for this under, under this plan. And this is only for one person. It is it's only for one person, PC or Mac, like that, of course. So as usual, the same. Like, so you'll be getting all the uh, office related things like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and other things. Outlook also, we will get it on the personal things, not in the student. 
outlook means you will be sending the mails for that ongoing technical support microsoft defender microsoft family safety microsoft editor clipchamp don't worry that you can check that microsoft teams is available you see very important you can make a meetings with uh, you know like the teams it's possible we can even join from the browser you don't require to download the teams app and all it is not required it is all uh, like if you, even if you have it it's very easy for you because you can you can attend the multiple meetings you know like by marking them and i can attend that if you have the app installed in the locally in a pc or a mac or something so one node is possible i don't know how much it has been useful that one node and all like we are we are using only the notepad <laughs> notepad plus plus and all like that we started using that so access this is for like a database and whatever it goes publisher html and other things you can publish it microsoft forms skype is also possible like a business skype it is so this is the uh, you know like the comparisons between the microsoft 365 family and the microsoft 365 personal and the last one is like uh, office home and they given one time purchase it is like you don't need to uh, you know like renewing and all that it's not required and just a one time purchase so 10000 rupees you pay it will be there for but it is available only with the word excel powerpoint you don't get anything else at all no literally no no teams no skype you know and uh, one note editors different uh, nothing is available that depends on like how you would like to purchase it for your own uh, use or some other okay so these are all the benefits we are getting it from that so this is about the personal thing which i am talking about means like for a home it's like that so if you click for a, for a business i was showing in the earlier screen like for business only it will be coming up now so for a business there is a different uh, you know like the plans are there. and this is for india only i am telling you again microsoft 365 business basic it is 136 rupees per month user per month like yeah. annual subscription will be auto renewal gst charges will be extra applicable that is applicable for every other plans which is been there and we can try it for a month one month free it is possible we can have a complete setup which is been online as well as offline it is also possible we can download the microsoft office means uh, word excel powerpoint and other things can be downloaded to the local windows 10 pc still you can utilize it for a month free afterwards it will be asking the money definitely and what all the uh, you know like business basics what we get it like web and the mobile access on microsoft these for apps only chat call meet until 300 attendees 1 tb of the cloud storage business class email you will get the email also standard security anytime phone and web support you can get it okay so these are the icons which are there which are actually coming up with this plan word excel powerpoint exchange outlook teams one drive and a sharepoint sharepoint is also been there sharepoint is normally used for to share your documents files websites within your organization or to the public also it's possible like it's like more of you know like sharing platform that's why they call it as like a sharepoint and the next one the plan is like microsoft 365 business standard model that is a 719.4 720 rupees indian rupees So again, it is coming up with an annual subscription auto renewal. GST charge is extra applicable. Like that, you can try this for a one month again. So what all things which we will be getting it? Everything is in basic plus yeah, which which we will get everything from here plus what all things we will get? It. Desktop versions of the Microsoft 365 apps with the premium features. Premium features. Easy uh, host website. Easily you can host the websites. attend the registration and the reporting the tools manage the customer appointments and other things possible this is a desktop web mobile apps and the services here there is no desktop is available only you can do it on the web only that is 136 rupees something you can use it always you just need to connect to the internet to use your docs and other things you can save it out anyway you are getting the uh, 1 tb cloud space 1 tb is more than enough like you know because even even once you finish your all documents and other things you can take a backup of it and you can delete it from the uh, cloud storage <laughs> it is not required to keep it over there always 
you know like but this is something what uh, something comes to like an enterprise it's like say uh, business standard like so what all things we are getting there uh, word excel powerpoint one drive here the one drive is not there outlook teams you know and the sharepoint exchange access pc only and uh, publisher pc only it doesn't available in the mac and other things so this is the another plan with uh, Microsoft 365 business standard. You can even try for one month again. One month trying in the sense we just need to give our credit card, debit card informations, and all the uh, you know like taxing informations like you need to give your uh, PAN card or GST numbers if you're running a company like that. They all need to be given. Then uh, it'll be verifying it with your uh, you know mobile phones and email addresses and other things. Uh, and one more thing, like we cannot create it with the Gmail address on this Microsoft 365. It may be taking it in the first attempt, but afterwards it will ask you to create your own domain and your own, uh, you know, like the username. Like that. I just created it like Ramnath K at Ramnath2023 dot on Microsoft dot com. It will be coming. There will be like, you know, like it's like a subdomain that has been coming up. So whatever you are creating on your own, that will be like a subdomain. It comes inside, like inside the domain of the main domain is like a com, and the another domain, second domain is called you know, on Microsoft. So whatever the name you are going to keep there, that will be coming under the on Microsoft.com. Like, so you see that I'll I'll show you that. Um, it's here. Yeah, it is like this. Just see this. Ramnath K at Ramnath2023.onmicrosoft.com. This will be common for all the people, whoever is creating it on the uh, usage on your Microsoft, like that, Microsoft Office. So this Ramnath2023, this can be changed anytime. That's what they're saying. That if you want to change it anytime you would like to have change, you can do that. It's not like a one-time, uh, uh, one-time, you know, like giving the name or something like that. You can change it anytime you want. It's possible. And uh, uh, we can create from this account. Let me go back here. We can create an account. The main account will be there. That uh, will be the person who created that. And afterwards, we can create 24. Means like 24 plus 1. 25 users can be created. Yeah, it's true. 25 users can be created under this uh, business standard. And this business premium. Like that. Okay. Uh, this, this one. Like that. And this one also like this. So these three plans you can take it because this is coming in the business standards like that. It's not a single user. It is like 25 users can simultaneously work on free for one month only, 30 days. The day you make it like today is the 15th June. So 14th July, it will be like, you know, expiring. Before 14th July, you just need to go and cancel your pre one time subscription. Otherwise, it will be continuing as a paid subscription according to the plans which you chosen and how many people are using under that like so per person it will be 720 rupees so it will be created a five person in the sense five into 720 it will come up. it will be charged because you already given the credit card or debit card informations to them after verifying everything only your account will be activated as uh, as good as that like you know like whatever we are creating on the Microsoft Azure or AWS or you know like Google Cloud Platform, same thing here also. With nothing new as of uh, you know like but but one month it is completely free. If you like to learn, uh, if you like to learn, if you like to go for a kind of an administration course like an MS nine hundred is that, means Microsoft nine hundred the course that is a basic uh, you know like uh, the Microsoft three sixty five administration course it is. So if you like to practice it on that MS 900, you can create your own account, but you have to give the credit card and debit card information to create that account for a month. A month is enough, more than enough, like you say, 30 days are there. So you can create all these things and you can do all, you can create a Word document, you can create PowerPoint slides, and you can uh, send uh, n number of mails to the people by using the Outlook. And you can create the meetings like that, anything. Teams meeting you can create maximum, I guess, 20 hours meeting can be run. One meeting can go for 20 hours like that. So it means like literally one day. 
I had seen running on that. But I am using that, you know, like from my office, I'll be using that uh, Teams and all account. It has been created for us at each and every, under our, you know, like the domain name, it has been created. That is a different issue. But here, if you would like to try it out, how the Teams is working, how to give the handout to the people, like how to create them, how to invite those people into the uh, Teams meeting and uh, scheduling the meeting, like scheduling it. Scheduling means like today is 15th. So today, I'd be like, uh, next Monday, I would like to make it out. Monday, in the sense, it's a four days of us. So to 19th or 18th, uh, 19th, if you would like to make the meeting, in the sense, we can make the calendar as well as possible. Calendar is there. So with the calendar also, we can create the meeting and we can send a mail to the people who are under your organization as well, who are not in your organization also, you can send it. Yes, you can send it. And uh, they have to be integrated within that, uh, you know, like uh, the... If they have their own proper domain name and all, they will be getting the you know uh, mail from your side and they will be able to join it. Then you will be accepting them. Means like you are you are allowing them to come into the meetings. So there are so many features which are there, which is very good for the people who are trying for uh, the certifications. MS nine hundred. MS nine hundred has been there for last three years, but still there are some new things has been added to that. So. Better if you go with that plan rather than just watching the videos and, uh, you know, like try to attend that exam with the dumps or something. You do on your own hands. You know, like just go there, create uh, documents, uh, find out all the options over there, you know, and uh, what all the menus are there, what all the applications can be started on this, how to go to the admin center. There is an admin center, it's, uh, means like an ad as administrator. You will be uh, restricting the people to get an access to that and then it's possible. We will see that in later. So because this is the plan which I was discussing about the Microsoft 365 business standard. You can go with this. And this one is a premium. Microsoft 365 business premium. And uh, what is this premium is installing? I mean, it's like this also we can try for one month. Yeah. Everything in the business standard plus means like all included. Plus what we have, advanced security, access and data control, uh, cyber threat protection. It's also possible. Like a Microsoft Defender and other things will be available for it. So where we can access this office suit, suite, we call it as like a suite. Google suite is same thing like that. Google suite has already been there, but we are using it very freely. But here it is like a paid plan, like because we are getting our uh, cloud storage and the protection and the virus threats and other things are getting protected for you. And you can even raise the case with the people with the Microsoft. They'll come and help you on this. Like so many, you know, like helping features are there inside your paid plan. So here, what we can do on this plan, uh, it's a 365 business premium. Let me come down. You see that desktop, web, mobile app, and services. You can get so many things on this. Word, Excel, PowerPoint is always there. Teams, Outlook, OneDrive, and Home. Is that? Uh, Intune, sorry, it's Intune, Exchange, SharePoint, and Azure Information Protection. You can even log into the Azure itself, it's possible. And access for a PC only, and uh, you know, like publisher that is for a PC only. So we can go with that. So this is the best plan you would like to try for your administration course, means uh, uh, Microsoft MS 900 administration course, if you would like to go for it. You can. You can go with this one month plan and you can um, try with this. Okay. Then one more plan is there. There is a 650 rupees app for a business. And uh, this one is a bitter, uh, bit more. See price and cart. So this is around the, uh, somewhere where it goes on. And this is 750, sorry, 650 per user per month like that. So this is coming up. And uh, this also can be given try for one month, it is possible. And this is also giving the desktop, web, mobile apps and services and other things and all, everything has been there. So better, what you can do, you can try with this business standard 719.40 for a month, or you can use this one. You need to go to the uh, price on the cart. Yeah. Then only you will be getting that uh, price on this. So this is about uh, the Microsoft 365 and the Teams. Uh, you know, like integrated with the teams. Teams is very important nowadays because 
people are using zoom in the you know the corona period and all but nowadays it is very much common that people are started using the teams all the companies which are coming up with the teams on the microsoft teams so we need to have some training on teams how to join how to leave how to record the meeting how to send files and uh, you know profiles and pictures and other things inside the teams meeting and how to join the um, how to record the entire sessions whichever we are running on the teams and how to send an invite to the people so those are all we need to learn because it is it is not so same as a zoom like you know uh, zoom is having some its own uh, what do you say annotation tool and other things is in there but it's lacking here uh, teams doesn't have that annotation tools and all so once you finish this you know like uh, going for a trying for one month by providing all the information which you already been asked by uh, microsoft means like you need to give your credit card or debit card informations banking informations email address pan card or gst uh, you know like registration informations and uh, your mobile phone should be reachable because they will be sending you the text or calling you to give the code to you so that you will be uh, typing that code while you are registering them once it is everything has been done then you will be able to log into the microsoft office you can just type office.com that's very much possible just type it like an office.com that's all you don't need to do anything like very large big thing and all you don't need to type it just type office.com in the browser it will directly getting into that you will be logging in with your we just need to take care of this actually once it has been in uh, you know like created you need to keep this information with you otherwise you will not be able to log in and moreover when you given the g screen uh, sorry the gmail uh, account that uh, in the gmail account this information will be sent to you because we we don't have any Uh, on microsoft.com uh, username and all so first time when you are creating that you will be giving the gmail address that gmail address will be captured and it will be sending all the information to you to the gmail address so you go and uh, access the gmail address to find out this information to how to log into it so just type office.com and you can log into this after that you can just click this this will come to this uh, you know uh, this this is the main page this is the main page home page let's say and you can just click on this uh, dots to see all the apps here outlook one drive word excel one note powerpoint sharepoint teams yammer yammer is also there it's like a facebook platform for in the company within your own company there and this is like a power uh, all things like a bookings and other thing all apps if you like to see you can able to see the all apps here it is bookings calendar compliance delhi or the telb excel forms kaizala so many things are there we can just go through this uh instead what you can do you can just click on this also like microsoft 365 it will take you to the another window then it will be asking you to log into that that is logging in welcome to microsoft 365 right. same page yeah. so either you can see it from there or you can see it from here it's possible so this is about the um, what are the applications which are there in this and very important thing like that you can just you know like pressing this on like i just say if you click home it will come up here and you can create the app you can do the you know like feeding you can click on this apps to see what all the apps are there in this teams word excel powerpoint outlook one drive one note all apps you can see this here all things will be coming up bookings compliance calendar excel everything you can able to see here and all things you can use it for one month free with users created also like 25 users license has been given including the person who created that so 24 plus 1 you get it like so this is a then 
So this everyone knows that there is not a bigger issue. You know? Like you just open that, uh, you know, where is that Excel and start, you know, like typing all the rows and columns and you just finish it up all these things and you can go and save it out because we have each user can have one TD storage as well. Like on a note, you can create that one drive. We can do that. Means like we can upload the docs to this place or files, anything like you can do that. It's like the uh, AWS S3 is there, no buckets. Like that. They can keep uh, things on this and there is a restriction for that in the free tab. Maybe like if you would like to increase the amount of uh, uh, the cloud storage, you need to pay something extra. That you can go through the uh, you know documents and all you can check that. PowerPoint slides, you can make it from here. SharePoint, you can do that. You can create the site and you can see. Teams, definitely. We will be creating the meeting on this and we can do that like this. So Visio also has been available. You can make some diagrams like what are the diagrams, network diagrams or schematic diagrams about your company, how people are getting connected, which departments are receiving the, you know, like who is reporting to whom, like, you know, like the chart like that, you can just prepare. We see Visio has got a lot of stencils on that. Each and everything like engineering drawings or civil engineering drawing, mechanical engineering drawing, electronics engineering drawings, you know, and um, we can have it on our own network related things, server and uh, other IT departments, something like that, which we can create on this. So this is very important for us, like, so we can create on, um, you know, samples like information, so like this complete information on this. And uh, this is uh, simple, like, say, if you click on the Outlook, Outlook will be opening. And then again, it'll be asking like the username and other thing because I didn't save anything on this one PC. So it'll be coming up on this. So let me just see this. So uh, these are all the mails which I tried to send it to my uh, my own account. Yes. And like stuck out. Stuck out is my Gmail address. I sent it on a test mail, like whether it has been reaching or not from the new domain. Like that. So it's coming up. It may take a bit late because my the link is not so faster. I don't know today. Take some time. So, like we can even send mail to any domains. It's possible. It's like a completely working, you know, like the environment, like the office setup which we have and the corporate offices will have. Everything will be working properly. We don't need to worry about that. We can even send mail to anyone. We can receive mail from anyone, right? And again, make the calendar meeting and other things, everything to everyone, like this. It's coming in, yeah. Now it's a, so now I sent it to this, uh, you know, like, it's stuck out at Gmail. That is my Gmail address. It's coming up, yeah. let's see. Yeah. Thanks and the words. Uh, this is my YouTube channel, okay? <laughs> okay, I see it. So like that, we can send mails from this, uh, you know, uh, the Outlook. It is very much possible, I tried that. And the uh, very important thing, like we just need to go with this admin part. Admin, this is going to be the admin uh, center. Microsoft 365 administrative center. Like that. From here, you will be able to create number of users, assigning the licenses to them, and uh, monitoring their activities. What all they are doing, it, how many documents they are doing, it, how much uh, space they are getting allocated for that. You know, like, and um, whether they are using the OneDrive, whether they are, uh, what is the compliance and other things for the OneDrive, you know, and uh, how do they go to create the website on the SharePoint? They can control each and everything from here. Finish up setting up the 365 business standard. Means like we can even download the Microsoft Office 365 from here. It's possible, but I'm not doing that. Now it is saying that zero zero because I am in the uh, you know, a free time subscription. So one month free, it is. Support remote workers with the team. Team, what the team can do on this. So user management, you can go with this. So we can just click on this home. We are in the home already. Microsoft 365 Admin Center we are in. Okay. And just click the users. You can see active users, contacts, guest users, deleted users, you can see. You can click on the active users. I created two more users from my side to test it out. You know, 
to test that like whether it's possible to create it. This is Ramnath K is already been there uh, because this is my default account which I created on this. A hyena is another account, the tiger is another account which I created. If I'd like to see this uh, hyena, I can just click on this guy, then it'll be showing all uh, what are the things which we can do. I can do the resetting deposit for this guy. I can block the sign in. I can delete the user. It's possible. That is admin related activity, but let us see what is the account information is. So this is the username and the email of the person. It is there. And the last sign in <clears throat> every other information has been given. Rules. He is a global administrator. We can create the roles and other things possible. Contact information. Nothing is there. Phone number and all it has not been updated. So. so this is about the account information and devices. What are the devices this person can log in to the Office 365 site or uh, can he download the Office 365 and other things? Haina doesn't have any devices enrolled in Intune. We need to do that information. And so licensing and apps. What are the licenses has been assigned for this guy? So location is India. My location is India. Then I given that uh, 365 business standard license. So because three users, now it is showing that 25 out of 22 has been free. Three has been under it. And uh, there are 30 applications of that. So you can see what all the applications here. Common data surveys. So many things of that. Just keep on going. Because I just made it like, you know, like selected all. So this guy has got selected everything. He got all the uh, things to get enjoyed. So this many services are, you know, like available to this guy. I can even change it if you want. All licenses, like what I can see. 365 business standards. Some of them are interesting. Okay, then um, I'll go for this. One license has been assigned for this guy. Mail. So this mail is mailbox permissions. So how much has been using the 50 GB is using two, two MB around that something. We can see this guy. How much is he using it? Okay. And email forwarding, more actions, email apps. We can do a lot. Okay. One drive. So how much the one drive space allocated for this guy? This is it. 1024 GB means like a 1 TB. So sharing can be, we can control it like manage external sharing means like whether this guy can uh, share the files to outside people or only within the organization, we can do that. And uh, date of the retention, this policy can be made like 30 days. After 30 days, automatically this the uh, data will be on the one drive. Storage space is 1 TB per user. Yes. We can even change anytime we want. Uh, according to the user as well. So this is about the user's, uh, you know, details, characteristics of the user which is created. This guy is an administrator, so he has got all the information on this. And I can click on this tiger guy. Hyena has got a lot, but tiger is not having lots of information. As usual, all the informations are given for this. And you can just see devices, it's not been uh, assigned in Intune. Intune is, means like where you go on the specify some Android device or the tablets or PCs, something else we just need to specify. And there's a, here is a license on NAFs or 365 business standard in India. It's been given. Only uh, around six or seven has been allocated for this guy. I didn't give most of them. See that. Microsoft Teams we can use. Office for web he can use, he cannot download anything, right? And the SharePoint he can use, only this much. So three, uh, maybe like uh, there are some dependencies maybe there for to run this three, so that is showing us a six hours. So this guy is a normal user. He can be participating in a kind of, you know, Teams meeting and uh, what is that? Then uh, he can... Uh, you can do some kind of share pointing things and other things. We need to give the mail access also. Right? I just need to make that. So this is about the you know, like licenses and other thing. Mail. Uh, mail is not actually completed for him. One drive. One drive is not given. It's not set up for this user. Ask this person to go to the parallel, what is that, portaloffice.com, one drive for Serida. It might take a while. If you still see the message 24 hours later, contact them. Support.
So for this, any user, we can do the resetting the password by getting into the block the signing in, deleting the user, everything is possible. So uh, as of uh, the 25 user license has been there, so I'm using only three now currently. Okay. And uh, contacts, I didn't make anything more. Guest users, I didn't create. We can create the deleted users. There is no deleted users as such here. Teams and groups, we can create that. Active teams and groups, policies, deleted groups, marketplace, billing. This is very important, like billing. You can go to the billing. What are the products which we purchased from this um, you know, business standard uh, a licensing option? We can check that. And what are the licenses we got? And how we are making the bills and payments? My credit card information will be shown there. I will not show you. <laughs> and the billing accounts, it is going to be like your Ramnath K will be like the person who is responsible for paying the amount of payment methods. They will show all the credential informations. Billing notifications. Notifications will be given to the mail and uh, mail alert and other things will be given. Like say, you can just click on this your products. It will be showing you. So here it's... Uh, Microsoft 365 Business Standard Trial. Okay, let me minimize this guy. So, and it is showing that auto renewal on 12-7-23 like this. So, this is what the plans which I have. And the licenses, if you would like to see, this is all possible in the admin center. Okay. Subscriptions. What all I made? It may take some time to give that. 365 Business Standard. 22 is available because 3 is used. Three users are there. I'm not Hannah and Tiger, three other. So this is power automation. It is saying that three something is there. So this is about the uh, billing information. We can go to the health and we can able to see the health dashboard. Health dashboard will be the service health and usage. How many people are using that? How much documents has been there? Uh, DLP means data loss prevention. So it's coming up. Recommended op options. It's coming up here. Yeah. Absent services, health, and 365 updates. Users currently online is one guy. And uh, MIA, MFA, admins protected by the MFA is the two guys. It will be showing it. So service health usage. This is healthy error loading data. Because I'm not using anything at all. Because just uh, for a trial and error purpose, I just opened this. So I'm not keeping any data over there. No files, directories, nothing is there. SharePoint, also like that. Microsoft Teams is a latency. Means it's not actually... One, uh, one advisory, something is there. Yammer is a healthy exchange online. There's two advisories, something other. You can just see that. Service health, you can click. So this is the admin center. We can go and admin everything on this one. Back. Issue history. Microsoft service health. Again, it will be given that Microsoft 365 suite. And uh, what are the other things are like? Everything is healthy. Seems to be all are healthy because not using it all. That's right. And uh, you can product feedback, you can give it network connectivity, you can go for software updates, you can look for that. So this is about the admin center. In the admin center, we can do all. In the marketplace, we can go and buy something on this. Okay. Setup, we can go for this, like if you like to set up some many other things like so here, one by one, we can go with this. User creations, teams and groups, marketplace, billing, you know, like all things which we can create on this. OneDrive, they made it like, uh, you know, like different, uh, uh, the one we can do like uh, admin dot, that's the name, admin dot OneDrive, OneDrive.com. If you go like this, then you will be able to Access the admin. Then again, it will be asked. Like, ask later. No. Yeah. 
actually this has been um, integrated with the sharepoint earlier it was onedrive was like completely different one we can do a lot of things on this one. but here when you go to the settings uh, but it will take you dot normally it will take you to the sharepoint admin center you just see the here but in that sharepoint there are five six sharepoint things are there after that you will find the one right one right notification one right retentions one right storage limit one right sync syncing in the sense syncing with your local hard disk with the uh, cloud storage like that so it's happening like this so we just need to have it like that if you want to uh you know like uh the one drive uh, administration like that you just type it like admin.onedrive.com then automatically in your own browser it'll be logging in with your uh, ms3 M ms365 account then you can go and uh, check this out. notifications you can click on uh, select this setting allow the users to uh, receive notification about the file activity Users can turn off notification if they do not want to receive them. It's already allowed. Close it. Then you can just click on this retention. Retention normally is a 30 days. And you can go until 3650 days. 3650 means 10 years. No. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Uh, specify the default reten retention period for a user's OneDrive when the user is deleted. Like that. when getting deleted and all, how long you would like to keep the data? Like that? you can just do. You can modify this until maximum amount is three six five zero days. Like Storage limit. It is thousand twenty four GB has been given means a one TB per user. If you want increase, you can increase, but extra charges will be applicable for that. Okay, that is for that always. Then syncing. Uh, this goes with your user settings to control the syncing of files in OneDrive and SharePoint. Show sync button uh, to the OneDrive website. Allow syncing only on computers joined to the specific domains. Block the upload of specific file types. That also we can do. Once I click there, I will be able to give the extensions of the files. Like you can't upload GIF files, you cannot upload MPG files. I can uh, restrict the people like because I can keep only the document, Excel. PowerPoint, PDFs, you know, and uh, like that. So only official related things, not the music or videos or program files or something. I can restrict this by giving the um, restriction to that. And I can make that only people who are in specific domains can do that. I can even specify the domain as well. So only those people will be get synced with the uh, OneDrive. It's like. So this is about OneDrive. SharePoint we can create on our own, like uh, things are there. Indeed, this is about SharePoint. Like, let me go to this. Uh, you know, the SharePoint. Let's see here. SharePoint is here. I already created the two sites on this website. Thing. Again, again, because I didn't save the password. So we'll be asking this all. So there are two sites they created on this Ramnet site two and Ramnet site one for a group. This is like there are uh, two kind of sites we can create. One is like uh, communication site, uh, yeah, team site and communication site we can create. What is the difference? Track and stay updated on the project status. Or share the team resources to the no other co-other uh, uh, content. All site owners and members publish the site content. Like that. Communication site is. Share information that engines sorry engages uh, and informs the viewers. Create a portals or subject specific sites. Engage dozens of thousands of viewers. View a uh, few uh, content authors and many site visitors. As you like, that you can just create it. Either you can create a team site, or you'll be creating the communication site. Yes, I don't want to do anything. Like I'll just click on this one to see what's happening. It's here. You see that. This is a communication site. So then I can go and edit whatever the things I would like to make it over on this. It's coming up still. Let's see. So default page it is like that. So welcome to site. Select edit at the top of the right page to start customizing editing. This is coming up. This is like a default page they give on the HTML or something. You know, like uh, something you can do with this. Is coming up like one by one. I'll become news. I can create a news post, I can create the events, and uh, I can do a lot. 
in this page. Documents, I can upload the documents to this and I can share it to the people. Everyone knows that because we are all already been using that uh, you know, SharePoint in our office. So how to create that like that? It goes like documents we can create. You can upload the documents you want. And pages, pages in the sense HTML pages or web pages we can activate. Created by system account, home.asp. That is about the page which we see uh, the information now currently. Site contacts, uh, it's nothing is there, I guess. So it's coming back to the page again. Not showing anything. Like, let us go back to the home. Yeah, it's coming. Contents, subsites. Yeah, documents, library, templates, style library, and everything is with this. This is about the content because we require uh, the content to be stored in a place so that we can able to create the sites. We require the content, we require the domain name, and we require the web server and other thing. Web server, uh, domain name, IP address, and everything has been taken care of by the uh, SharePoint. Means like Microsoft 360 will take. Care. You just need to create only the uh, the documents or pages or something like that. Just let us go back to the home. Coming, coming, coming. Takes time, yes. You can create as many as sites you want for your company. And again, per user, some limit has been there. And again, the storage limit will be there somewhere. Everything goes, goes back to the, uh, you know, like the one drive, one other thing is to get stored somewhere. It goes on. You go with that. So, this is about the SharePoint. So, we can do everything. There are so many things other which we need to you know like explore the things like uh, share videos to the classes meeting presentation and uh, training session stream is the you know project is a uh, share point which is all already we people know about this and the list allowing the users to create share and uh, track data inside the list This is about the uh, Microsoft 365. If you like to see that what is the differences between this, that is one of the side which you come to this. Uh, differences like that. So, brief history of Office 365. It's include introduced in 2011. It's a older. Okay. And uh, rebranding it to Microsoft 365. That has come up in the 2020 only, MS 365. And it has got a Windows 11 Enterprise and uh, additions uh, like spam, malware, data leakage. So this is the plans which they are discussing about their own uh, uh, region. Okay, it doesn't work out with us. I've shown you the uh, earlier one, but name the names are exactly the same. Like you know, uh, plan uh, plan amount may be changing. Like the price you are paying for it may be changing. Then, but once you're seeing the plans details inside. There are different plans and names they given it something like different. Number 365, like this. Choosing 365 plans over Office 365, like that. So we are, currently we are having only uh, MS 365 only. So we can go with this. Advanced threat protection, advanced threat analytics, defender and more. Information protection on Azure information protection premium. And uh, analyze before you buy, like this. To summarize, it is common to people get confused between O365 and M365 and see clarity on plans and rebranding. We have seen in this blog, like uh, 365 not synonymous with each other. Admins must know what separates both of them. I do a thorough comparison on Office 365 versus Microsoft 365 spend accordingly buying the subscription plans. So Microsoft will be having a lot of, uh, you know, like the, the data. Uh, this may be uh, leading into that uh, kind of US based uh, something. Let me show you that plans. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is coming to the same. Because I'm in the, I'm sorry. I'm in the Indian page, so it is coming to the Indian. So this was I was discussing about earlier. So this is about like a heads up on like MS 365 and O365. It's very easy to configure and learn, you know, like, and go for kind of uh, kind of exams like the MS3, MS900 exam, like the MS900 
this is what certification second go for this fundamentals so this exam you can write that study guide and like that 99 us dollars means like 100 dollars 100 dollars is uh, simple so around uh, 6 to 7000 indian rupees on this skills measured you can just see that and i have some services learning path exam resources related certification slides yes. So you can go through this page to understand the Microsoft MS 900 exam. Pretty simple to clear that, okay. But you need to have the hands on on this uh, O365 platform, sorry, MS 365 platform. So then you will be able to clear this exam. It's available on these all languages. And uh, these are all the skill measured. Let me make it slightly bigger so you can see this. Uh, dated in April 18, 2020. That's the latest exam. So, describing the cloud concepts, 365 apps and services, compliance, privacy, trust in uh, Microsoft 365, pricing, licensing, and support. So, these are all will be uh, asked for you. MS 900 is a uh, basic level exam, initial exam like that. You just need to go for self paced. So, you require to know this all, learning path and all. Fundamentals. Training and certification code, you can go there. Exam replay, certification poster, your certifications, exam policies. So just go through that. Uh, but try to create an account on uh, Profit3, Maxwell 365 platform and uh, practice it on your end. Okay. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel. The channel is nothing but that was given you. Uh, go to YouTube. Let me search. Yes, it is here. So you can call me on this. Let me take a piece of then I'll open one more. So this is a number you can call me. If you would like to have any assistance on this Microsoft related certifications, Azure, Google Cloud, AWS, network related certifications like Cisco, uh, also Firefox, everything I'll be doing that. And you can send a mail to me on this uh, stuckout.gmail.com and Skype is around on that. Yes, so you can just ping me directly on Skype. And this is a WhatsApp number, is all the same. You can do some chatting with me. And this is my chat. Okay. Please uh, give it to the people. And you can check my Facebook page and my website also. All right. Thank you for attending this uh, small introductions about the uh, Microsoft 360. Still, I'm getting that Office 360 only. <laughs> because we used to say that always Office 360. Now, the branding has been changed. Plans has been changed. Money has been changed. And uh, you know, a lot of other facilities has been added to that uh, MS 365, I should call that. OK. Thank you for. Um, joining me. Uh, let me do one more video by next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.